I'm Olivia Coleman. And I'm Jessie Buckley. And we're here with Harper's Bazaar to talk about Wicked Little Letters. I don't have my glasses, but what was it like reuniting with uh, your best to friend. work together again? Um, <laughs> it was tricky. Yeah. I thought about it for a long time. Did you? Yeah, because nice. I would had such a miserable time <laughs> with you before. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fucking great, wasn't it? Am I allowed to say that on Harper's Oops, design? Getting a thumbs up. up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Olivia. Yeah, hello. Hello. <laughs> You've played a lot of serious roles in the past. Did you enjoy delving into comedy? You've done lots of comedy did. too. I to started be fair. in comedy. You did. So it was nice to go back to comedy. Um, although I was possibly so overexcited about it, I sort of over overegged it. Okay. Quite a lot of comedy faces. I did. I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I like a bit of everything. Do yeah. you? I like a bit of everything. Yeah. I'm just like that. <laughs> The film is actually based on a true story, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it, is. it is, actually. So in the 1920s, Edith Swan and Rose Gooding <laughs> did indeed appear in the broadsheets every week and they were debated in Parliament because of these poison pen letters. It's true and the swears are lifted from the letters. So in case anyone goes, oh, it was vulgar, disgusting. Well, it happened in the 1920s and Cunt first appeared in Chaucer. Yeah. So have some of that. Up yours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's your personal favourite swearing phrase from the film? Swearing. I like a good fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's taken out of context. Well, even in context, there's no... I mean, yeah, that just means lovely. one thing, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, um, I agree. And I, in the film, you like fucking up the nose hole. Ah, uh, yeah. You um, were fucking up the nose holes. Yeah, I did yeah, love nose that. Holes. And you're a last great... Um, Tirade of yeah. curse Pasty words. Crusty old, beady old, crusty old, something like that. Quick off the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the Queen Victoria? Oh, yeah, you looked like Queen Victoria shoved ne- some, a bunch of nettles off her pussy. That one. Which is a lovely image. It's lovely. Isn't it? That is nice. Yeah. Did you feel oh. strange constantly using bad language on the camera? No. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it felt very natural, didn't it, for both yeah, of us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no rehearsals needed no have you found yourself swearing more in real life since <laughs> filming yeah <laughs> can't stop me uh, there's no time in the day to swear anymore no time in the day to swear anymore because we swear so much anyway yeah. you'd have to add hours I swear well I think yeah I swear efficiently and if it comes out more it comes out more and I'm okay with that yeah, yeah. me too yeah yeah. I think there are it's there so are, fun I so love fun. it what's your favourite on set memory we just had a great time in the green room, in that with all of the cast together chatting, finding out Angela is an incredible singer and guitarist. Yeah, she's just so modest. I if know. I could do what she, well, and you, no, I'd no, be no, singing all the she's time. She's amazing, and I'd travel with a guitar as well. Am I allowed to tell the nail story? That was my one. The what nail story? Oh, you got your fabulous. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, go on. Well, you got a fabulous leopard print manicure. Yeah, Robert Tompkins, best manicurist in the world, hand painted leopard skin on my nails. And then, and I was filming, <laughs> which isn't very 1920s. And and Thea said, oh, no, no, you can't have that. And I went, no, I've got a plan. So there's one scene where I just have a dishcloth over my hands the whole time. And, <laughs> <laughs> because I only had that scene that day. And then I was going away for the weekend or something. So I just want, didn't want to get rid of my nails. And you did it. Now are loads of people are going to watch the film and, and try go, and that find... That is clearly the scene. It's like, where where's, that, where's Wally? Over there. For like, and know. I can't just think, I'm doing that. It's <laughs> just like some <laughs> claw hand. <laughs> but they were amazing nails. They were. Yeah. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was. It was funny. Was it hard to keep a straight face with some of the lines? But that was also part of the fun of it, was like trying to make each other genuinely... Yeah. laugh when that did happen when you the rest of the crew's shoulders started going you yeah. knew that you've done something really actually funny yeah and whether or not that would translate onto the screen we had no idea didn't yeah care. we didn't care yeah <laughs> <laughs> what was the uh, rehearsal process like for you did we have one <laughs> it was i don't think we did no yeah. we didn't talk about anything no we talked about what we were going to eat for dinner until yeah. we get a bottle of Rosé yeah. at night time. Yeah. Which is a very important part of the process. It is actually. Uh, you have to feel happy. You don't want yeah. to go back to your hotel room and feel lonely. Yeah, yeah. Because then you can't work well. And also listening to Dame Eileen Atkins, incredible. We were <sighs> all like on a shoe, just on a shoestring, is that right? No, I think that's a budget. On a budget? On tenderhooks. Tenderhooks. Tenderhooks, yeah, yeah. that's the one. On tenderhooks, 
listening to all her stories about her big, brilliant, yeah. naughty life lots. that she had. The so that was important research. research. Yeah. yeah, that was brilliant. How did you get into character as Edith? I read the script and then put a wig on. Oh, yeah. I think it's quite clear from the script what she is. Mm. So, bitch. Oh. Hey. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I do actually love you. I do love you. Yeah. Well, you know that. Yeah, I know. What drew you to the project, both as an actor and producer? Olivia. Because <laughs> that is what you are now in your title. <laughs> yes, well, we both know that I did absolutely fuck all on the producer side. <laughs> apart from saying, could we have Jesse? <laughs> Which I'm eternally grateful for, darling. <laughs> Good. <I'm so> <laughs> no, the other, other proper grown-up producers did the producing. And every now and then, I think I had to go and say hello to uh, finances. Oh. Go, hello. <laughs> and then <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like if you did actually go like that, be like, hello. And they were like, oh God, she's that's that's not what she's imagined. actually all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did want to I felt in the in that place where I want to do something funny and work with some people I really liked. And it was quite a short shoot in the UK, not away from home for very long. All of those things are important and I hate being at home, so do you. Yeah. And so it was nice. Yeah. It came from Johnny Sweet's clever head at just the right time. I think. Yeah. yeah. We had fun. We did. <laughs> <laughs>